Hello, hi friends. Uh, so excited about tonight. I have been waiting for it. I have been so pumped up all day about this training. So say hi when you hop on. If you're watching the replay, you can let me know. I am not gonna waste a lot of time uh, waiting because I want to be um, courteous to your time and obviously to mine. I really hope Facebook likes me today and will show me <laughs> comments. It likes to not do that to me. So when you pop on, say hi, and let me see if I can see comments. I can see comments. Yay. Okay, perfect. I don't have to watch it on my computer then. Um, hi, everyone. Hi. Thanks for hopping on, you guys. Oh, thank you so much, Missy. Um, no, it's really a pleasure to be here. Um, I am so grateful. Hi, you guys. Hi, everyone. Uh, good evening. Uh, so, I'm just gonna dive right in. It's 5.01 my time, I'm in California. Um, so I'm gonna dive right in and um, I'll be sure to answer any questions I see afterwards, but again, wanna be courteous to your time. So my name is Brianna Angle. It says Brianna Caitlin, um, but I am a wife of a police officer. And so if you have any friends, you may know that like due to safety and stuff, we, uh, a lot of people um, use their middle names instead of their last names. So um, my name is Brianna Engel. My middle name is Caitlin. Uh, hey. Um, so yes, I am Brianna and I'm a superstar director with Scented Dreamers. And I live in the Central Valley in California. Um, I grew up about 60 miles north of here. This is where my husband grew up in this small little town. And we moved back here after he got done serving in the United States Air Force for about four years. And um, this is where we've been raising our babies for the time being. So we're looking to um, head somewhere else here pretty soon. But for now, this is where his family is. And it's been such a blessing. And it is where I started my business. It's where I started Sensi. And so it definitely holds a sweet little spot in my heart. Um, I have three children, a uh, almost nine year old, a six year old and a almost five year old. So stay pretty busy, but I have been a stay at home mom and stay at home wife. And I have loved it. I have always like wanted that growing up. I always wanted to be a mom, always wanted to be a wife. And so, um, praise Jesus, praise Jesus that, um, our path that God has put us on has allowed me to do that. And it's been such a blessing and I have been nothing but blessed by it. Um, but obviously, mom life can get tiring, um, being a wife can get tiring. And so uh, about three and a half years ago, I stepped into um, this idea of like wanting something more for myself. I wanted to uh, explore my creativity. I wanted to have something that was just for me outside of being a mom and um, running the household and stuff like that. And since he happened to pop up on my timeline um, from a friend that I've had for many, many years, and um, I was able to speak with her about what Sensi looked like and all of that good stuff. And so I joined shortly thereafter and kind of just took off. I joined September of 2017 and um, realized a couple months later that I was super close to earning the Mediterranean cruise and put my butt in gear and earned that and I've earned every incentive after that. But I say all that because that part of my story, because I recognized then that that was a dream of mine to earn incentives that I didn't even know existed because when I joined, I didn't know incentives were a thing. So, um, Sensi really has just been a place where I feel like I have thrived personally and relationship wise and just in all aspects of my life, I feel like Sensi has blessed me. So, um, sorry, my daughter's right here. Do you need something? Why don't you go lay down on my bed? Um, so since he has just blessed me in so many areas and I am just so grateful for it. Um, but back then when I was looking at that incentive tracker and I was thinking about being able to take my husband on a cruise, a, a free vacation, which I didn't even know existed. Um, I was really, all that kept I kept thinking about was how me and my husband had always talked about traveling. We had always talked about wanting to um, go explore other countries, go see different sites, um, go on road trips, all this really fun stuff. But we knew we wanted a family and, you know, coming from the military and then my husband being in law enforcement, like, 
I don't know if you all know this, but they don't make a lot of money. They just don't. <laughs> they don't make what they deserve, and it's long hours, and just in a lot of um, a lot of years in our marriage, we've been married um, 11 years now, we were paycheck to paycheck, and that's just what we knew, and we just always dreamed about traveling after retirement. It was after our babies were going to be grown, we could travel the world, uh, we were able to have babies really young, and so, you know, we're like, well, okay, we'll still be fairly young enough to travel, and so as I was sitting there thinking about this Mediterranean cruise, all I could think about was this idea of me and my husband being able to travel when we were still young, like that to me was mind blowing. And at that point in my journey, my husband was still kind of like on the fence about was Sensi the real deal or was there still like a catch? Was the other shoe going to drop? And so we, um, we talked about that. And then, uh, come January, 2018, I earned for myself for the Mediterranean cruise and we ended up buying him in. And it was, this experience like I have never had before. Like if you've ever been on an incentive, like you can drop down if you've ever been on an incentive trip with Sensi, uh, you know the feeling of stepping out into like that space and recognizing that first of all, you earn this. Second of all, it's real, like it is the real deal. And Sensi spoils you, but to be on vacation um, and not have to worry about anything like, that changed my life, but it also changed my husband's. And so I feel like that aspect of um, my business and where I started plays a big role into why I love talking about dreams and goals because incentive trips and um, that aspect of this business is really important to me now really, really important. It's like, it was not my reason for joining Sensi because I had no idea that incentive trips even existed. I had no idea that was a thing. And then to join and to realize that that was going to become such an anchor on why I love Sensi and why I continue to do this um, changed what it, it was that transformation between a dream and then a goal, right? So dreaming of traveling, taking my husband on vacation, us exploring this world and different places together, that was a dream. And since he gave us the, the, um, the vessel to do that and but if you know anything about incentives, if you know anything about Sensi and how it works, you know that like it takes planning to earn incentives. It takes hard work to earn an incentive. Like you do have to actually work on it and you have to put in effort. And and that right there, you guys, is to me the difference between a dream versus a goal. Because when me and my husband in, in the beginning parts of our marriage, when we were having babies, all of that and we would sit and talk about dreaming about traveling this world, that's all that it was because we weren't putting feet to the ground. We weren't talking about how we were gonna make it happen. It was this far off notion of, yeah, one day we're gonna travel the world. One day we're gonna go to Europe, one day. And it was like, but we'll wait to plan that out until we, it's just not possible right now. We totally wrote it off as something that wasn't gonna happen right now. and you know, again, God be the glory for Sensi to step into our lives and, and prove to me that I could um, work hard for something and earn it and, and really um, play with this idea of turning the dream. That was my first experience of turning something uh, that is a big deal, but to me, I had no idea what it would turn into. But turning that idea of traveling into a goal, right? And Sensi does such a perfect job at making it so clear cut uh, during incentive periods when it's, you know, um, a trip. It, they put they put such great emphasis on what exactly you have to do. And that is the beautiful part is that even if you're not into traveling, even if you're like, I don't, I can't go on these incentive trips, no matter what your reasoning is, maybe that's not your cup of tea, maybe that's not your jam, that's totally okay. Um, you are still walking through and you still understand what it looks like to desire something for your life, desire something for your business, to allow Sensi to be the vessel to get you to that next place, and then to take the steps to make it happen, right? So um, the problem that we run into when it comes to when you want to move from just having a dream to making it a goal and you know actually working towards achieving it is that the reality of it is it 
the reality of it is winners and losers have the same goal. Like, think about it, like in any sport that you're watching, anything that you're watching where there's a competition um, and there's gonna be a winner and there's gonna be a loser, they have the same goal. They start out, that's, they start out that game, both of them wanting to achieve the win, winning, right? Uh, they want to achieve the trophy, they want to earn that title. Um, but what do the winners do that the losers don't? And sometimes in sports, it's hard to figure that out. And sometimes in this business, it's hard to determine, right? Because people can work so hard and still not earn an incentive. They can do everything right. But a lot of time, like we see now, you know, the sponsoring and stuff, we can't control other people. But when it comes to our dreams and our goals, we can take the front seat and we can determine what are we willing to do? Because if we sit back and we just are satisfied enough to just sit with our dreams and to just think about, okay, one day this is going to happen. One day I'm going to be able to travel. One day, well, one day is just not on the calendar, right? But then you look around you and you see people doing exactly that. What are they doing that is getting them to where you want to be that you're just not doing, right? Um, Another little story that you should know about me that, again, since he is the reason, is that because of Heim Hamish the Highland Cow, I have this, like, huge infatuation with Highland Cows now. Like, it, it is just a, just a thing for me. And my husband is like, what is going on? Because our house is, like, covered in pictures of Highland Cows. And he's like, it looks like Hobby Lobby threw up in here because just... <laughs> Highland cows everywhere. Um, but I'm like, whoa, I have this dream of owning a herd of Highland cows. Like I really, really do. And I'm researching about them and we're looking to move out of state and to a place where we can actually have Highland cows. And it's just a crazy thing that again, since he opened that door, my husband's like, wow, this is becoming a very expensive little like thing that you're doing. But I'm like one day. Um, but the, but the reality of it is, is that since he is paving that way for us, but I recognize that my dream of having a Highland cow, hi, you need to go lay down. I know, I'm sorry. Yes, I will. Go lay down the mom life. <laughs> my husband's not home yet. Um, go lay down my bed, baby. Um, my dream of owning a Highland cow is not going to be achieved unless I do the things in my business. I do the things inside of our home that actually get me there, right? Like I can put the pictures on the wall and be like, I can't wait to own one one day, but the pictures on the wall are not going to produce anything in my life unless I do something in my business like like hitting superstar director, you know? I, I recognized that superstar director was a dream, was, a, was something that as a certified consultant, as a superstar consultant sitting in, um, in Anaheim, California during SFR, I was sitting there going, I'm watching directors walk across the stage and I said, next year that's gonna be me. And in Austin, that was me, you know? And so dreaming about these things and knowing that my next step is this and my next step is this, and then you hit, you hit director and you're saying, okay, the next step is star director and then the next step is superstar director. And let me just tell you, when you get to that title, when, you, when, you, when you're done dreaming about the next title, your goals, I feel like that all of a sudden, like it, it was like, maybe I don't have another title to reach for, but the door to dreams just burst wide open. And all of a sudden I was dreaming of bigger things and like things that would be life-changing for my family, like the $10,000 paycheck, like buying our first home, like owning some Highland cows, you know, like those things all of a sudden became dreams of mine that I didn't know, didn't even think were possible. And then since he introduced me to it, and now I'm looking at it going, okay, I'm done dreaming. I, I dreamed about traveling for too long. I dreamed about owning a house for too long. I dreamed about those things for so long. What do I have to do to earn it? And I think that Sensi, again, I go back to giving Sensi the credit, at, at least in my personal experience, because Sensi taught me how to 
turn my dreams into goals and how to actually bridge the gap, right? And there are some very simple things that I want you guys to consider when you're looking at your big dreams and turning them into actual reality and how do you move forward in them, right? Um, and that is giving yourself a timeline and putting action it, putting action into it, right? So a, a timeline that puts you um, on the clock, right? We, I, I don't know about y'all, but I like work really well under pressure in some situations and in other situations. I'm like, I want to get this done before the time ever runs out because I just want to be like stress-free about it. Incentives, I want to get it done as quick as possible. I want to earn whatever level it is and then just be done. I don't like waiting till the last minute. But if you tell me you're coming over in an hour, I'm going to wait till the last 15 minutes to speed clean my house because I know that's when I do my best cleaning, like hands down 100%. Okay. And so giving yourself a timeline and knowing what you are capable of doing what you are going to push yourself to do during that timeline to take steps towards that goal, right? And, and, um, they need to be, um, they need to be, uh, steps that you, that are actually, you're actually capable of doing, but they also need to be challenging, right? And so for me, just as an example, um, buying a home looked a lot like during the pandemic when Sensi blew up and Sensi was crazy and it was busy and it was, oh my gosh, what is going on? It was a blessing to us in terms of when we're, when we're dreaming about buying a house and we actually want to take steps towards it, we realize we need to have a savings. And that was something we had never had before, you guys. Like if I'm being completely honest with you, we had never had a savings account before the pandemic. Isn't that wild? Like, I, I don't want to minimize the reality that a lot of people lost their jobs and it was turmoil for a lot of this country. Um, but for me and my family personally, it gave us the opportunity um, because of Sensi to create a savings account that gets us, that it's that action step that gets us closer to buying our home, right? And so we said by the end of, 2020, we want to have a savings account with X amount of dollars in it. And that looked like every single month, cutting this out, putting this in there. This month, we're going to put this much in there. This month, we're going to cut out this debt. We're going to wipe that out. And every month, it was looking at our plan, looking at our action plan, right? Writing down exactly what you have to do. I don't know about y'all, but like the incentive trackers are great because I can look at that and say, I know exactly what I need to do. I know exactly what Sensi is requiring of me to earn this. And to do that on your own is hard. It's hard. It's really hard because sometimes you get stuck on, I don't think that I can do that. Or, mm, okay, give me a year and, and maybe we can have that savings account. Or I really just can't give up my Starbucks coffee. So I'm going to, uh, you know, maybe buying a house just isn't in our future right now. It can be challenging, right? It can be hard to take those next steps. Um, but creating a timeline for yourself and making the plan that is um, doable and challenging and sticking to it. And if writing it down is good for you, if I have a vision board in my office and I have pictures of things on there like that $10,000 paycheck, buying a house, the Highland Cow, we want to buy an RV when we get to where we're going, you know, earning Disney World, hitting superstar director, like all of that is on my vision board because I wanted to be able to see it and be reminded of it on the daily, right? Um, there's something about dreams it, you know, we talk about dreams, but it's like, that's what we do when we're sleeping. What are you going to do when you wake up? What are you going to do when you wake up? Because now you have hours, you have a whole day ahead of you. What are you going to do to move towards those dreams? Are you just going to lay in bed? Are you just going to close your eyes and go back to sleep and keep dreaming about it? Or are you going to get up and start moving towards it? right? And that is the difference between winners and losers. Winners go after, make plans, Athletes train daily for hours so that they can win, right? They're not just dreaming of the trophy. 
wanted to share a quote that I found by Stephen Passfield, or Pressfield. Um, and it says, at some point, the pain of not doing something becomes greater than the pain of doing it. And I love that. I love that. I feel like that speaks to so many areas in my life, specifically right now, um, as I am trying to motivate myself to work out on my Peloton daily in um, in lieu of our Disney World trip, where I know I'm going to be eating all the snacks. Um, I, I think about, I hate working out. I hate working out. Um, but I am like, wow, the pain of the, the agony I'm going to feel when I'm so exhausted from walking around Disney World um, or getting dressed every day, you know, whatever is bothering me about my weight or what I look like or whatever, it that it, at some point that's boiling up in me. And I'm sitting there and I'm laying in bed in the morning and I'm thinking, am I going to work out today? And it's like this pull. It's like this physical pull but I know that it's emotional, but it's this physical pull in my body where I'm like, nope, laying here and just thinking about working out is not going to be enough. I have to actually get up and do it. Even though I know I'm going to get sweaty, even though I know I'm going to get hot, even though it, it kind of sucks, <laughs> like it really, really sucks <laughs> in my opinion. Um, I, laying here is not enough. I can't just lay here and think about it anymore. Okay, I have to get up and do it. Is there a dream on your heart that you're feeling that right now? You know, what are what do you wake up thinking about? What are you feeling that physical pull to do? But maybe you talk yourself out of it. Or maybe it's a really big, scary goal and you're like, I don't even know how I'm going to get there, you know? That's a big deal. And I, and I always tell my girls, lean into that. Like, if it's scary, good, go for it. Like, do it scared, but do it still, right? Um, another quote that I really like is, you do not rise to the level of your goals, you fall to the level of your systems, right? So to me, systems are those, those action steps that you're taking on the daily. Um, and when we are walking through life, right? Because like these dreams are really great. Buying a house is, it, it, when I finally have that key in my hand and we're moving in and stuff, that's gonna be a really amazing moment. But I know that all the steps that I'm going, uh, that I'm gonna be um, taking to buy that house, there's going to be hiccups and bumps along the road. There's gonna be things that throw us off and it's gonna be stressful and hard and all the paperwork and like all the things. I get all of that and I know that that's coming. But in those moments, what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to fall to my, my, my goals. I'm not going to fall to my dreams. I'm going to fall to that next action step. I'm going to fall back on, okay, yeah, that moment sucked. That didn't work out like I had planned. What am I falling back on? right? That's why you have to have those little steps in between, those little things that you are doing so that you're not falling all the way down back to that goal, that dream that you had. You're falling back on, okay, yeah, that was a hiccup, but I know what my next step is. I've, I've already been here. It's time to keep moving, right? So to me, I love dreaming. I'm a dreamer. I'm a dreamer. There are some things that I am like, very grounded in my husband being in the line of work he's in he's a very grounded individual and so there's a lot of times where we're talking about things and he's like whoa let me pull you back down to earth like you're up in the clouds somewhere and and that's great because we balance each other um and sometimes it's the opposite but I'm a dreamer and um it's taken me and, and I still have a lot of work to do it's not um it's not I'm not at all perfect or where I want to be in my life, but it's taken me some time to recognize that dreaming just doesn't do it for me anymore. Dreaming is not the end goal. Um, we all have dreams, but the people who I look around and I see are superstar directors or doing this and doing that, uh, they actually had to do something to get there. You becoming a director, you're not going to get there by accident. That actually takes a lot of work and a lot of effort. And if that's your dream, then having this program, taking in, applying what you're learning here, that's what it takes to get there. And it's no accident that you're in this moment. It's no accident that that dream is on your heart. But what are you going to do with it, right? 
creating action steps, giving yourself a timeline, challenging yourself, that's what winners do, right? So that is what I had for y'all tonight. I hope that that was helpful. I hope that that was, I hope that gave you some kind of nugget of um, perspective on it. Uh, like I said, I am still moving in the direction of all my big dreams and figuring it out for myself. But to me, I love talking about dreaming, um, but I love talking about goals. Like, cause that's, that's where you're standing on the mountaintop and you know, and it's, it's fun because like you're standing on the mountaintop in this business, you get to help others get to the mountaintop with you. But man, like I, I always feel like you're standing on the mountaintop and then you like, you're like so proud of yourself. And then you look around and you see a mountaintop that's just a little bit taller and you're like, okay, no, I got to do that. Like I, my next goal is that one, you know? And so there's always going to be more, there's always going to be a bigger dream out there. And so I want to encourage you guys to do what you need to do to take those steps, take those big, scary steps, wake up in the morning with fire. And, it, and man, if a dream doesn't, if it's not physically pulling you out of bed and it's, and the, the pain of not doing it is not setting off the pain of actually doing it, then that dream is just not big enough for you. You got to do something else. Okay. So um, I appreciate y'all being here. I don't know if I missed any questions. I'm so sorry. Um, but yes, yes. Timeline and action. Definitely. Um, I, sorry if I missed any uh, questions, but if you guys have any questions, feel free to message me. Um, I am so grateful to be here. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate you all. And I am cheering you guys all on, on your truck to director and just keep dreaming, keep dreaming. Okay. All right. You guys all have a wonderful night. Bye guys.